Does switching out the stock heads that come with your drum kit really make that much of a difference? In this best and worst review of the Sonar AQ1 series, I'm going to be investigating just that as I take this kit on a sound test using both the stock heads that came with the kit versus then changing out the snare and the toms for a set of Remo coated Empress. As with all my gear review videos, I'll also be telling you my favorite features of the kit, who I think the kit is best suited for, and of course, discussing the best and worst of the Sonar AQ1 series. Let's get into it. Hello there, my name is Will and welcome along to another Best and Worst, where today we're taking a look at the Sonar AQ1 series. And as I said, we're investigating a little bit further as we compare two sets of drum heads. To begin with, we're gonna look at these single ply stock heads that are made in China that come with the kit. Then I'm gonna be switching out the snare and the tom heads for a set of Remo Emperor coated heads. Those are two ply heads that are made in the US. When switching out all the heads today, I'll be using a drum dial for the tuning to try and make things as accurate as I can. But let's get into this comparison of these two drum heads and see how they sound. So for the drum kit sizes that I'm demoing in this video, I've got a 20 by 16 inch bass drum, a 14 by six inch snare drum, a 10 by seven high tom, a 12 by eight medium tom, and a 14 by 13 inch floor tom. This kit also comes with Sona's 2000 hardware set, and that includes two cymbal boom stands, a snare stand, a hi-hat stand, and one single pedal.
The AQ1 series from Sonar uses a 100% birch shell mounted on their Smart Mount Tom system, which allows for greater and better resonance from the rabbit toms. Part of the reason I chose to use a two-fly coated head on this kit was to see how much it affects the resonance, because as you can hear, you're getting a lot of tone from these drums. So after listening to both sets of heads, which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're someone who actually owns a Sonar 81, what drop heads are you using on your kit? I'd love to get a discussion going about which heads we think are the best to use on a kit like this one. Initially, one of my favorite features of this kit is the hardware. I think it's classic, I think it's timeless, I think it's unique, and it's so ergonomically pleasing to use, I love it. Specifically, the Sonar Wingnut. If you get a chance to turn a Sonar Wingnut in your life, do it. It just, it's just lovely. The smart mount system that the Toms use works really, really well. It's really effective. You get loads of tone and loads of resonance from these drums. The high tom is a dream to tune. Within seconds, you can get a good sound out of it. The floor tom, I think, records really nicely. I love the tone I've been getting coming through on the recordings. The mid tom, a little bit more challenging. I really wanted to tape, but a bit of tape just to kind of absorb some of the resonance because you get so much from it, but I resisted as this is a review video. But I love this kit. The attack and clarity you get from the toms, the low end you get from the bass drum is brilliant, and I think the snare tuned high is really, really good quality as well. Interestingly, this is the first ever 20 inch bass drum I've played, usually I'm a 22, 24 guy, and I am loving it. I gotta say, it makes the kit so much easier to play just by having the kit and the toms a little bit lower. Oh, it's just, it's great. Everything's just really close by, I don't have to reach for anything. You know, I, I gotta say, I'm usually the rock bass drum guy, but this 20, it's doing something for me. So I've owned the Sonar AQ1 for a few months and I've been road testing this kit pretty extensively. And so far, so good. It's been a really fun kit to use in my teaching and lessons. I've been gigging with this kit in my function band, playing wedding and party shows, and it's performed brilliantly. I've also used the kit at drum camps I've been teaching earlier this year. And on social media, the drum kit's also been coming across really well when I've been making different types of tutorials for my Instagram. For all those reasons, I'd say that the Sonar AQ1 is probably best suited for someone like me. If you're someone who gigs a lot, practices a lot, or is perhaps a working drummer, this is a great choice of drum kit. It's probably too expensive if you're someone who's buying their first ever drum kit, although it is worth noting that the price of all drum gear and pretty much everything I guess at the moment has gone up recently. So do bear that in mind when you're buying a new kit. Having said that, if you are a drummer who gigs and practices a lot or you're a working drummer, I think this kit is great value for money. I found it a really fun and versatile kit to play and particularly in the band situation, I found it sat in kind of the band mix really nicely. We arrive at best and worst, and let's begin with worst. I think one of the worst things about the AQ1 series is not actually necessarily on this kit, but it's actually the lack of finishes that this kit comes in. Now it's kind of Sona's thing that they keep things nice and simple and bold, so they like to only have three or four finishes for the AQ1 series. And I actually really like this kind of Stormtrooper look that this drum kit has, but I think if you're paying a bit more for your money, sometimes some people might feel like they wanna have a few different finishes to choose from. One of my other small worsts is actually how the bass drum beater looks. Now the pedal itself is comfortable to play, it's got a nice action, no problems there whatsoever, but just the beater, just how, how it looks, I just think it's pretty, Ugly. Am I, am I shallow? The best thing about this kit has to be the hardware. It's timeless, it's classic, I love it. It's ergonomically great. It's just a fantastic bit of gear and it really makes a difference to how the drums sound. And the drums sound great and they're a joy to play. And joy is the most important thing when you play the drums. I hope from watching this video, you've got a better idea of how this kit sounds. Let me know in the comments, what did you think about the difference in the different drum heads? Did you prefer the single ply or did you prefer the double ply heads? Let's get discussion going on in the comments about that. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor, like this video and why not subscribe to the channel to see more videos just like this one. Until next time, my name's Will and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>